Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here, back to do your bonus read. After, you have to excuse the noise in the background, I've just turned on the computer and it's making all those diddly do noises where all the messages you guys sent through, which of course is the most beautiful sound in the world. So thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know the dealio, then come on board. Uh, cards I'm using for this reading are the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. And we're here to get going. Okay. Oh, how funny. <laughs> I should have changed decks. This card came out in the in the What's Cracking this morning. And so it's so evident to me that, um, and I did do some really big shuffles in between the videos too, I might add. Um but this is about balance for you. Uh, I feel like a lot of you have actually sort of found your feet over the last couple of weeks because it's really evident now. And I like this card because it talks about the equal give and take. So you've understood, you know, um, the, the need for getting back what you put out. It's an equal exchange of energy. Now, we had the temperance come out in the what's cracking read which sort of takes it a step further in you know I mean it still talks about the balance between head and heart you know foot, foot in the water foot on the land all those sort of things this one's a little milder it isn't quite as strong because it doesn't have that divine feeling about it but it certainly feels to me like you've understood in this card do you see a man giving money to these two children um he's not really differentiating on how he distributes that it's going equally to both children I feel that for many of you here there's relationships in your life where you're either dealing with someone who's been quite cold towards you um, whether that be at work or in love um, the feeling is now that you're understanding that you can't keep putting all the work in if the other person isn't giving back and if that's what an equal give and take is, it's about understanding that if you're respecting people and treating people with dignity and, you know, and making room for them in your life, especially like your family, then they need to be giving back. You can't exhaust yourself by always being the one to give. OK, so the first card out is the King of Pentacles. Now, you could be dealing with Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Um, this man is very, very intent on his future. He's looking at his pentacle, which is rather large, um, and probably, um, you know, the thinking how he's going to spend it and what he's going to do with that rather large pentacle. This is about being grounded, being true to yourself. This is earth energy. It's being very connected to your environment. Um, it's also about him being in his element. So if this is a person you're dealing with at the moment, that's the sort of energy they have. If it's if it's um, if it's your energy, this was, this goes both ways. The energy on this one, I can feel it going both ways here. I think some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Some of you are dealing with a person that has this attribute. Okay, now there's a decision to be made here, and I think that this is about this person. And with this balance card up front. I feel like you're making a decision on this person. Now, this is a card of balance again. So both readings today have been heavily about balance. In this one, we see the guy trying to balance out two pentacles. Now, they're equal. There's no difference here. One of them sits higher than the other. And I always feel like one of the options you have is a little bit harder. So if we're, if we're talking about, um, you know, head over heart, it could be that you love someone but perhaps they're not offering you an equal exchange of energy. And that sort of is why you're, you know, tossing up between the two. So there is a decision to be made here, but at the moment you're pondering this, you know, heart over head. If this is a job, it would make sense. Maybe one job, you know, isn't paying you the money. Maybe you're not getting the respect that you need. Because this King of Pentacles could be someone like a boss or a manager. And maybe they're not giving back to you. Maybe you're doing putting a lot of work in but not getting any respect for it. Okay, and this is causing you quite a lot of conflict. And you could have been in some sort of battle with this person too because sometimes this does talk about a battle. Um, but there's definitely this feeling here of bickering, fighting, spitefulness. 
So, um, yeah, and I feel with this Two of Pentacles, you're trying to think of how to resolve this issue. There's sort of a need to resolve it. And then we have the King of Swords. Now, this is your energy here. And I think he too came out in the What's Cracking. This is you, because what's happening here is you're going into this energy of the King of Swords to manage this behaviour or this situation. Now, the King of Swords can be a bit cold, so it may be that you've thought out what you're going to say. You have your ideas and you're ready to go, and you can see he's quite ready to go. He's not angry, he's not upset about things, he's thought about them in a very calm, collected way. He's an air sign, so he would have completely thought about how he was going to do this but he's still ready because he's got his sword ready so I feel like this is your energy you're extremely grounded you're quite comfortable you're sitting back in what you know is right and you're ready to move forward and say something to this person oh my goodness now we're getting the same cards out again this is very strong energy people so I think it's come out in this reading for a reason something you're going to say or do here Something you're move, moving forward to speak to someone about. You finally made the decision to do it. You're sick of the to and froing. You're sick of the arguing. It feels like you're putting all the energy in and the person that you're dealing with isn't. Now, this could be the other way around too, where the other person's feeling this way. But I've got to say to you, shit is going to hit the fan is what they've said to me. Okay, it's going to hit. It's going to hit home and hard here. So one of you is going to speak up and there's going to be a breaking down of an, a foundation that wasn't firm to begin with. Now, what I can say to you is the tower doesn't leave. I mean, while it might in the time that it happens cause a bit of distress, it is there to show you that you can improve this situation. So if you're going to speak to someone at work and you're doing it in a very calm collected manner and you've been bickering with this person I can tell you although it might not be met in a good place the chances of pretty good things will improve after this so this is your energy at the moment so I feel like you don't want to go forward and do this you are very stuck in this this sword sits in front of you this sword that the king of swords has got here is sitting in front of you and you are making this well, you're not. You're blind to this decision. You don't really want to make it. So you find it quite confronting and quite scary. But I can tell you now, you will move forward on this and you will do a good job and you will bring the tower down and you will achieve this temperance card. Okay. Very similar messages to the what's cracking reading. Because you need to bring this balance in your life. So you've got all these cards of balance again. Wow, I think some people are really out there today or this week to really, really understand what's been happening in their, you know, world and how to bring things back into perspective. But this is beautiful because this is what you're achieving after the tower, despite the fact it's been a very difficult thing to do. See, now you can move forward. Now you can put things in place for your future. This is brilliant because what this is saying to me is that Whatever you've resolved here, whatever situation you've put an end to, you are now able to plant seeds for your future. And I like that. Because you've achieved what you set out to do, because you've thought about it and you've planned it. So this is the energy of what you would have been feeling or maybe feeling going forward. So it may affect you quite strongly here. So even if you've, if you've spoke up against someone, I know this feeling, I can tell you. You know, sometimes you speak up and you think, you know, you've done the right thing, you're really comfortable with it, and then you walk away, and then that night it goes round and round in your head. Did I do the right thing? Could I have done it differently? What happens if this is this feeling? And I'm telling you, you've done the right thing, you've brought balance in, you've respected yourself. Do not get into that energy. Oh, yes, because this is the energy you want. Yes, this is it. You want to feel this energy, feeling happy, comfortable, joyous, at home in your own space. You don't want this. But you know what I always say to people, it's all right to do this for a little while. If you're questioning your decision, then okay, feel it for a little while, but put it to bed. You don't need it around you all the time. And I think you're realising that eventually you will realise, however long that takes for you personally, that you did the right thing. And maybe after this has gone through, this tower, 
and you've reached this beautiful balance in the temperance here, maybe you will understand that you did the right thing here. I feel very strongly for you the people that this is a lot about family here. A lot about family. I feel like there's a lot of work stuff here. I don't think this is all about relationships, personal relationships, romantic ones. I feel like this is this is the general energy for today. And it feels to me like it's around just how you treat your relationships, how you see your relationships, you know, how you perhaps give too much to your relationships and don't expect anything in return. And that I sort of get. I do. I do. It's very hard sometimes because we're bored up to think that we have to always just, you know, put up with the crap and work through it. And it's not true. We don't have to do that. And you know what? If you speak up and the other person doesn't receive it well, what's the worst that can happen? They can cut you out of their life? Well, so be it. They shouldn't have had you in there in the first place if they couldn't treat you with that sort of respect. So, oh, no, they want to come out. Oh, you've been very stubborn this morning. Okay, I've got two cards here. Okay. I can understand why they've sent these two cards out here. They're very relevant for the reading. So the Astara card says you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Okay, so very good advice for you all. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars for your dreams and desires and don't compromise. But Vanessa's come out too and I really like this Vanessa card for you. It says, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from that? And I look at this and I think, you know, with this whole tower temperance thing, you know, this idea of sort of, you know, upsetting things to bring them into balance, um, to, you know, making disruptions to bring around some resolution is how things have to work in a very natural way. So which way brings you closer? Thanks, guys.